Hi everyone. So the end of term is nearly here. I guess you're feeling all Christmassy. I guess your parents are busy getting things in to make a nice Christmas dinner. Perhaps they've bought some crackers and I'm sure you've been opening Christmas cards. But the thing is, there's a real meaning for Christmas, the real meaning of the very first Christmas. Let's have a look together. I've drawn out all the letters to make the word Christmas, but within this word there are lots of other words we can make. It's a bit like a literacy lesson. Let me make some. First of all, we can think about all the things we cram into Christmas holidays. The things we like to do, the people we like to see. And at this time we can think of the, the charming things we get up to. Those lovely traditions, spending time sitting in front of log fires with uh, nice hot chocolates would be one of my favourites. But then we also think of all the cash, all the money that gets spent on a big meal on Christmas Day of presents and things to get ready. If we go out to see people, we might want to dress up. Can you guess what this word's going to be? There we are. We might want to dress up smart. I like putting on a sparkly dress, that's for sure. And then when we see our grandparents, quite often after dinner, when they have had lots to eat and they're feeling a bit full, oh, where's that letter A? They crash out on the sofa, don't move for hours and watch the Queen's speech. Now the things are that these are all things that we might get up to and um, a part of our Christmas, but the very first Christmas had a truly different meaning. There were, let me see, uh, there were charts. Where's that? We can make the word charts. Can you think of the three wise men? They had their big maps out, didn't they? And they had big charts mapping the skies to tell them when the, the Christ, the, the saviour of the world, was going to be born. And this bit is easy for you to get. What did they follow to find him? They followed a star. Where did the star take them to? It took them to a stable, I can't make that word, there's a few letters missing, and they knelt down and they worshipped him, baby Jesus. He is the Christ, the Christ child, God's son, come to save us, the king, saviour of the world. Oh. I've left out a letter, the letter I. You see, quite often we think Christmas is about us. I put myself first in all the celebrations. But let's celebrate Christmas as Christ's birthday. And we can be part of him. So my prayer to God is that this Christmas you have a happy and a safe Christmas. Merry Christmas everyone.